the privilege and honor of introducing. Give you the background of Mr. Um, Daryl Bracken, and um, I'm very elated to be doing this. Um, I've known Daryl for a number of years now, and I've seen this uh, upstanding member of the community who really has the community at heart as his goal to, you know, make um, some great changes. So um, I would like to introduce Mr. Daryl Bracken. Um, a little information about Daryl. Daryl is a lifelong New Haven resident. He has lived in the Upper Westville for over 18 years. Daryl is a graduate of Fairfield University and holds a Bachelor's of Arts degree in Political Science and History. Daryl has attended Vincent E. Morrill Elementary School, Beecher School, Sheridan Middle School, and James Hill House High School. Bracken teaches social studies at Lincoln Bassett School and is a Westville Community Services Organizer for the Westville Neighborhood Network, which he co-founded with Alderwoman Angela Russell, Ward 27. Daryl has conducted the Upper Westville Neighborhood Food Drive for the past four years and has raised donations for local shelters and for youth for educational endeavors. Daryl has also founded Vision 412, which is a local young adult community outreach ministry seeking to give young adults spiritual enlightenment and a safe haven. He successfully launched the Identity Initiative, which had its first conference in July of 2012 which equips young adults with tools to be successful in promoting social justice and building enterprises here in the city of New Haven. Bracken serves as a children's teacher at Church on the Rock, New Haven. Bracken is also a steering committee member and a liaison for the Greater New Haven Health Alliance's Adopt the Schools Initiative, which has launched its first volunteer mentoring and tutoring program at Lincoln Bassett School in New Hallville. Daryl Bracken also sits on the board for local prison reentry program Immunity in the Community, which seeks to empower men and women who return back to New Haven after serving their time. It seeks to equip them with consulting, mentoring, and training to be productive citizens of the city of New Haven. Daryl Bracken Jr. wants to use all that he has, has for War 26 to ensure that all residents of Westville and the city of New Haven can see better days and finally have the chance to move forward for everyone to prosper. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to some, reintroduce to others, Mr. Daryl J. Bracken. To everyone, first and foremost, I want to thank Pastor Todd Foster for allowing us to gather for the next few minutes to talk about my endeavors for the next 10 months. I have chosen to do this announcement here because the church represents many people from many nations and represent every neighborhood across this city. And many of you are from Upper Westville who vote at Sheridan School on Election Day. As a church community, we must change, we must be the change that is needed within our city. So with that, I want to thank each and every one of you. I want to thank my team from the fundraising chair to those that have come before you and the field team that's to come in the days ahead. If you know me personally, uh, you know that I'm pretty direct and I like to cut to the chase. So I'm gonna say what I have to say, and that is effective immediately, I'll be, I'm, I'm announcing my candidacy to run for Alderman for Upper Westville, Ward 26. As the Upper Westville Community Service Organizer, we have coordinated efforts to feed hundreds of families over the past four years through our neighborhood food drive. As a former management team member, I have, I've advocate, advocated and signed on to petitions to make sure businesses kept in mind our safety and keeping crime activity away as a result. As an educational advocate working with our city's youth, organizing Kobe Court so that their streets were paved within three days, no longer can we say it's, we, can, uh, we can't do what we need to do and do it well. Even over the past few years when the storms have hit us pretty heavy, um, we were out there as a team, supporting seniors in their homes, going the door to door, checking in on them, making sure they had what they needed. When limbs fell on people's homes, we were there. These are just a few examples of the kind of leadership I believe is needed in Upper Westville. An alderman who is a servant leader, and with that approach. One who asks what you can do for me, but how can I help you? We no longer want politics as usual that says vote for me today so that I can abuse power and manipulate the system for personal gain, which many have seen over the years. This campaign is about people, 
not politics as usual. Yes, a young adult African American striving to be an example of what God meant for us to be, a light to the world in dark times, and to be a salt that brings flavor to a world that has grown bitter and cold in its taste for many poor and middle class citizens who are struggling economically and emotionally. I came to this decision to run as a Democrat in September 10, 2013 at Sheridan Middle School because I believe it's time to move forward. I realized that in order to make true change, not only one should be an advocate, but one should sit at the table where decision-making process is happening. I believe that it's time for fresh ideas, fresh perspective, and a heart for collaborating and raising up leaders to follow in our footsteps as we blaze the trail to bring New Haven into an era of true democracy and prosperity. I know that there will be an argument made concerning my youth and being young, but my question to you today is if my generation are the leaders of tomorrow, what happens to us today? Well, today, many are affected economically, affected because of lack of jobs, and jobs that aren't made to the equivalent of educational as uh, aspirations that we have. Some of us, many of us, uh, no matter the age limit, gone to college, but aren't making the amount that you would expect, considering the amount of debt that we've incurred over the years to receive that education. We're told to go get the bachelor's, go get the master's, but the jobs aren't there. What are we supposed to do? Today, many in our neighborhoods are affected by criminal activity, abuse, burglaries, and shootings. Today, Upper Westville, the property taxes and high energy costs crunch the pockets of families. In Upper Westville, I know that many have grown weary of politics, so going door to door is not something that many people like to see. But I believe that today we can move forward, and our neighborhood can be energetic, passionate, with an advocate to be a part of the solution. So if elected alderman, I intend to ensure constituent services are number one priority throughout the neighborhood. Fixing our streets, sidewalks, overgrown tree limbs that cause damage to houses on streets on Judwin Avenue, Stevenson Road, Fountain Terrace, to Longcrest, and even on Curtis Drive. As Upper Westville Alderman, I intend to continuing building up grassroots connection to city policy, making sure that everyone knows what your tax dollars are going to. I will address the number of burglaries in Upper Westville neighborhood and the criminal activity on down to Chapel Street near the Edgewood Park neighborhood. I intend to build continuing relationships with the current Board of Aldermen and to see that the newly created New Haven Works Initiative formed as a result of the pipeline is effective and addresses the issues at hand. And that's unemployment rate, that's 12.4% above the national rate. And that's staggering. That's in our city. I believe that it's time to see a revival in this city that shows love, hope, and prosperity. When we want to address crime and criminal violence that surrounds our youth in this city, but have no alternate routes for them to go, such as youth social enterprises or simply a place to go to stay out of trouble, we must realize that it's time to move forward. When construction plans are created without the input of community and how it's best to fit our neighborhood, we must set up and stand up on the plate and say that there's foul play going on. It's time to move forward. When we're going down the street to find that the city is moving forward with building houses next to freeways, which affect seniors and youth and their health, asthma is going up. And we continue to build uh, without the environmental sustainability that is needed in our cities. It's time to move forward. When schools have to make decisions as to whether or not they have to cut the jobs of paraprofessionals, these are educators who are doing excellent jobs. We're talking about cutting jobs. What's happening with our youth when you cut those jobs? I think it's time to move forward. Maybe some of you in this room have uh, hopes and dreams to open a small business and you simply just don't trust politicians or the political system for that matter because it might have pushed you away from achieving your goal. I encourage you to look at the clock of life and see that it's time to move forward. Can you see the dawn of a new day in the horizon? Do you believe that our best days are ahead of us? I do. Together we can renew our hope for a better community 
In order to move forward, we must begin to take the steps forward. In order to allow change, we must embrace fresh perspective and toward moving toward the future. By working together, we can deliver that change. We will bring our community together through creativity and overcoming our challenges and raise the expectations for hope for all residents to see a better tomorrow. Let us take our chance today. I'm Darrell Brackeen, and I'm running for Alderman of Upper Westville. Now it's time, together, that we move New Haven forward so that New Haven can rise again. God bless you. Woo!